Hey, what's happening guys? We're taking another look here at the CD4017 IC, which is the uh, Decade or Johnson counter. Uh, we talked about it before and I'll put a link down below so you can understand the basics of it. But basically, you feed in a clock pulse and it sequentially counts. So here we have a 555 timer and that is configured. I'm going to pull this off. It's giving us about a one hertz output. And then we have um, LEDs on the counter and they just simply sequentially pulse. So for every pulse from the 555 you get a sequential pulse out of the CD4017. Pretty simple, right? Even take a look at the timing here on the oscilloscope. Here in channel one, we have the output of the 555 timer. Then we have channel two, channel three, and channel four. And what you can see here is how it goes boom, boom, boom. It's simply sequential. That's all there is to it. Well, you can do other things with the CD4017. So let's talk about that. One of the neat things that we can do with this is to create a pseudo lighthouse effect. Now, if you know anything about lighthouses, you know they all flash a different sequence of lights so that ships at sea know which lighthouse they're looking at. Well, we can do that with the CD4017, but we don't want to do it with 10 separate LEDs. We want to do it with one LED. So, we'll pull these LEDs out of here. And we can uh, set something like that up. So what we're going to do is we are going to use this little blue LED here as our single point of output. Let me take this incredibly <laughs> bright LED out of there and put in a dimmer one so that we can see better. Make sure it works, yeah. So it's not uh, freaking us out quite as much. Okay. What we want to do is we want to take a look at the pinout for our CD4017. So let's do that. Here's a look at the pinout for the CD4017 and we can see it starts pin 3, then pin 2, then pin 4, then 0, 1, 2, then pin 7, and it just jumps all about the place. So that's a little bit crazy. But let's start out and let's do a simple flash flash wait flash flash wait pattern. So we can do that. Let's do um, pin light back up. There we go. Pin three and four. And then we'll do pin ten. And five. Is that what I said? Three? Yeah, three, four, ten, and five. So, what we need to do is simply use some diodes to isolate them. So, pin one, two, three. I'll go all the way up here. And then pin four. And then we're going to do ten. Yeah, 
10, 8, 9, 10. So, I'm going to put that up here like that. And pin 5. that down here and if I did this right we should get a flash flash weight flash flash weight kind of pattern well actually we're getting a Flash, 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 flash. Can't quite tell. Let's uh, let's put it on the scope and have a look at that and see what we're getting in actuality. Because we should only be getting the two double pulses. All right, let's figure out the scope. Yep that's what we're getting all right flash 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 and you can change which pins you use to change the timing or the number of flashes that we get in order let's add in another one realize we can't really add in another one because we're out of room here but anyway, you get the idea. You can just add more diodes and add, change your timing. I think it's a neat little trick that you can do with the CD4017. Works out pretty nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this little CD4017 circuit bending trick. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, big thanks to you guys, and a big thanks to whoever sent me the current clamp. It gave me no information as to who it's from, so I'm sorry I can't thank you by name, but you know who you are, right? Alright, that's it. I'm out. Peace.